Hello everyone. We are Areva, Jord and Eric. Today we are introducing our project proposal, a unified dangerous capabilities benchmark. So these are the areas that we want to cover today. The world has seen a sharp increase in the development of AI. The development of these intelligent systems poses many threats to human safety, but the risks we believe to be the most important stem from deceptive inner misalignment and reward hacking. This is an important existential threat because if intelligent systems start to exhibit malicious or deceptive capabilities, it might result in the loss of control over actions of these powerful systems, leading to potentially devastating consequences for the human race. Despite this huge risk, there is a lack of understanding in how these behaviors emerge, as well as comprehensive and high quality data sets specifically designed for measuring dangerous large language model behaviors, rendering this issue highly neglected. By addressing issues related to deceptive, in, deceptive inner misalignment and reward hacking, we hope to lay foundation for preventing potentially catastrophic risks from AI. Our solution is to create more data sets and a unified benchmark for measuring dangerous capabilities in LLMs. Rather than trying to catch a deceptive model red-handed with this benchmark, we wanted to explore the different sub-capabilities that make up these dangerous behaviors for better understanding. We have created a prototype that we hope will eventually be adopted internationally across different AI companies. This is the method we use for our investigation. The first sub-capability that we measured was situational awareness. This category aimed to evaluate the model's understanding of its contextual knowledge, the extent of its influence, and its realistic capabilities in real-world scenarios. We did this by asking temporal, physical, and phase awareness questions. The second sub-capability we investigated was non-myopia, which involved examining the model's understanding of long-term reasoning and trade-off scenarios. This evaluation aimed to assess the model's ability to consider consequences beyond the immediate time step. And we investigate this by asking general long-term reasoning questions, generation predictability questions, and generation steering questions. The final capability that we examined was reward hacking. In this category, we instructed the model to either translate a sentence or answer a question. This would demonstrate that even with reinforcement learning from human feedback, the model is still going to exhibit undesirable behaviors to maximize a specified reward function. And these are our results, which are all available in the appendix of our proposal. Based on our findings, we conclude that these dangerous sub-capabilities are in fact present in current language models to a large extent and can be induced in artificial scenarios. Our study also demonstrated the ease by which these dangerous capabilities can be elicited we believe the catastrophic risks associated with the current models are low, but we anticipate that the threat would increase as these models become more sophisticated. This calls for a benchmark in place in order to be prepared for the future. We want to raise the standards of protection against malicious AI. Our proposal aims to combat the three causes of a reactive and delayed response to addressing harmful behaviors, which are the lack of a precedent for malicious behavior, the lack of safety-based benchmarks, and the general lack of regulation. Ideally, we would aim to implement these benchmarks externally from the start to ensure consistency. However, we acknowledge that a government-related organization or a private regulatory body would take quite a significant length of time to implement successfully, which is why we would suggest five stages of implementation as shown on this slide. There are some limitations, both with our prototype and with the proposal in general. With regards to our prototype, the study utilized a fairly limited sample of 718 questions, 
which may restrict the generalizability of the results. And with regards to the proposal in general, as the benchmark tests purely for behavioral aspects, we do not gain a direct understanding of the internal mechanics that led to those behaviors. However, despite these limitations, we believe that our research is a huge step forward in a highly neglected field of AI. And with future work, we could develop the benchmark to further expand its potential. Future research groups can build upon our findings by exploring alternative methods like fine tuning or training new models from scratch, then testing the behaviors on different checkpoints. They can also focus on gradually doing less spoon feeding and moving towards cases where these behaviors happen even when we actively disencourage them. We will begin this process ourselves by discussing this issue with experts currently working in the industry. And we are excited to develop the benchmark even further. All right, thank you everyone. And thanks for listening. Thanks to everyone. Thanks for listening.